Hi everyone, this is AJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my review for episode 5 of the Orville New Horizons. There's quite a lot to unpack in this episode, um, so let's dive straight in. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, new to the videos, then welcome over. Um, I do review the Orville on a weekly basis. Um, same with Star Trek, which my latest Star Trek Strange New Worlds, Worlds review will come after this. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Come in and join the channel. Um, don't forget to leave a comment. That's the most important thing, so we can have a nice, friendly discussion about this episode, about whether it worked for you, whether it didn't work, whether there's not enough comedy in this series for you, there's what there was before, um, all that sort of a thing. So this here, we're at, we're at episode five, and this episode is called The Tale of Two Topus. This episode comes to us written by and directed by Seth MacFarlane. Um, creator of the show. Now, Seth MacFarlane also wrote and directed the very first episode of the season, which was a heavy-handed episode about suicide, um, revolving around um, Isaac. Yeah. Now, this episode here, um, we start out, and, and the Orville is charting this long, um, uh, forgotten pyramid on this alien planet um very much like an egyptian pyramid in the inside there is you know treasures to behold and all this sort of thing but that's that's not the story the story of this episode actually revi re revolves around topas the son of abortus the mocklin child who if you remember was changed at birth from being female to being a male because the mocklins um in their culture they perceive um being a female is being weak and, and you know what I mean that sort of general you're no good if you're a woman kind of a, a, a perception so um, they had he, he, the child changed to becoming a boy now uh, Topaz the child decides that um, they want to become or he she whatever you want to call him her I'll call him him at this point um, wants to be a union officer um, wants to join the union and all this sort of thing. So gets involved with um, Commander Grayson, Kelly, um, who starts showing him around the ship. He can shadow her as she does her job and this sort of thing. But it soon comes to pass that, that Topas isn't happy, isn't very happy. And the episode gets into this heavy-handed stuff, almost to the point of, of um, the suicide story that that Seth MacFarlane gave us in that first episode, because you, you've got scenes where um, Isaac is approached and, and is asked by Topaz what death is like and whether um, there was anything there and whether Isaac was, you know, unhappy being brought back and this sort of thing, which starts stepping into that territory of um, suicide again. But the whole episode basically revolves around Topaz and Topaz is unaccepting of uh, what he is, what they are, whatever you want to, whatever term you want to use, um, he he comes to learn that he has been changed, been genetically altered at birth from being a female to a male, and then has a realization that this is why I'm not happy because I am trapped in the body of uh, the to which I'm not, uh, you know, I, I'm not assigned, so to speak. Um, so we go through all this stuff to which by the end of the episode, you know, that there is a, they find a way around to work around certain orders and this sort of thing to turn Topaz back into a young Mocklin female. Um, yeah, so I won't go too much into the story, um, element of it beyond that. Um, but now this episode, this episode is, is going to be very divisive, um, whatever your political stance may be on the acceptance of, of transgender community and all this sort of a thing. And, and um, I, I'm not going to get into that side of it. I'm not going to talk about my political um, views on it or my, my thoughts on it or anything like that because it's not really... Um, 
I won't say it's not relevant. Of course it's relevant to the story because of the story which they gave us, they decided to give us. I will say that, obviously, it, it, a lot of people are going to say this episode is very preachy in that respect. And, and I can understand that. I can understand, you know, I think Seth MacFarlane wants to be very relevant in, in the story to tell him that he does. But is it necessary? Is it necessary to have in a show of this ilk? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. What I can tell you is that this is the longest episode thus far. This episode runs for one hour and 15 minutes. Um, I got very involved with the story. Um, I thought it was very interesting. A yeah, very interesting point of view that it gave on the subject matter. I felt that, um, I, I, like I said, I was very engaged. I was, I was, I was drawn into it. Um, it had some interesting debates to say within it. Um, and and yeah, you know, a lot of the scenes were very well acted, I will say. Um, Bortus, um, the actor there, he, he done magnificent in that scene where he was crying with Kelly. Uh, and Kelly herself, Adriana Palicki, um, she had a wonderful scene with Bortus's husband, other half, um, in the office where the two of them go at it. Um, it's a very, very well acted scenes within it, you know, um, a step above what we have seen before and, and it gives you a, a sense that these people can act when when called upon um the episode did have small elements snippets of humor in a couple of scenes throughout um i don't mind the humor has been toned down um i thought i may have done but the humor is a lot smarter than what it was before it was very juvenile in the first couple of seasons not overly juvenile but more so than what you're getting now the humor still exists but it's, it's somewhat smarter than what we've had before um so all in all uh, a very good episode it's not action-packed or anything like this it's not uh, you know action-based setting like what we get it's just a very well thought out story um had some constructive ideas to suggest within it um putting across uh, another point of view on something and this sort of thing. Um, like I said, you could say it was very preachy uh, and I, I can understand people that would say that, that will say that. Um, I get that preachiness. I, 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 you know, I get that there's a forced sort of, I don't want to say agenda, but there is something to be said within it. Um, very, it is very heavy handed in that sense. Um, but I, a thoroughly enjoyable episode, a well-written episode, a well-acted episode, um, regardless of your your stance on the the changing of genders and this sort of a thing, the, the gender swapping. Um, I mean, I, I'm quite surprised that I'm not slating the episode, I'll be honest with you, for what it done and the storytelling that it decided to tell. Um, you know, not to take away from anyone's individuality. I wouldn't do that. People can make their own decisions as to what they want. However, from a society perspective, um, uh, I do believe there's a certain amount of indoctrination being done within schools and this sort of thing. But like I said, I don't really want to get into that side of it. Um, my perception of right and wrong is irrelevant here, but every human has their own right to to choose their own path in the story but anyway so a thoroughly good episode thoroughly well acted and i've said that before i'm repeating myself but yeah no no it, it, i was pleasantly surprised shall we say by this episode um very mature storytelling um and, and i did like that anyway this is aj i'm done but you need to let me know what you thought about this episode because i'm pretty sure that like I said, this will be very divisive um, and I'll be interested to hear your thoughts on it. And it's all going to be very nice. Keep it nice. Keep it calm. Keep it civil. Regardless of people's thoughts, I'm, I'm open to every aspect. Um, you know, no judgment here from me. Um, uh, that's how I like to keep it here. So let me know honestly what you thought of this episode, whether it worked for you, whether it didn't work for you. Anyway, that's all I can say. But be sure to come back and check out next week's. Hit the subscribe button. See you all later. Take care all and goodbye.